Hello, Brett here from First Social, and today we're going to talk about the new First Social giveaway app. Now, the giveaway app is different than our other apps in that the giveaway app doesn't just work on a fan page. The other apps that we have, uh, generally they work on a fan page only, they are Facebook apps, whereas the giveaway app is a Facebook app but it's an app that you can put anywhere you want. You can put it on your website, you can put it on your fan page, you can put it on your WordPress blog, anywhere that you can paste in a code snippet, you can put the giveaway app. It still uses Facebook for the login, it still has built-in Facebook viral features to encourage people to share your app, but it is not constrained to just the fan page, it can be anywhere. In fact, you can actually put the same giveaway on multiple places, so you can put it on your fan page and on your website at the same time and tie those two together so that way people have multiple chances to find your giveaway. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app. The first thing you're going to do is log into your first social back end into the members area and you're going to see the apps up top here. I'm going to go ahead and click over and select the giveaway app. So this is the giveaway dashboard. You can see it's very simple to use. You just click on create new to create a new giveaway. Once you create the giveaway, you can edit it, delete it, or get your code snippet. Now I have a test giveaway already set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it and show you how the options work. See, the options are really simple and straightforward. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is put the giveaway URL in. That's the URL of where you're gonna put the giveaway up. Um, now you can put the giveaway app on multiple places, but you need to select one area for the main. That way when people share, that's where they're gonna come back to. So if you prefer to, you know, say for example, you're gonna put the giveaway app on your fan page and on your website. You would have to choose which one you would rather people land on uh, when they click someone's share link. Do you want them to land on the fan page or do you want them to land on the website? And that's the URL you would put in here. The next thing you're going to do is enter the title for your giveaway. We just put in some sample text there. You can see also as you enter your options in here, the preview is going to change live for you and uh, let you see what it looks like. You're going to have to choose how you want people to enter. Do you want them to be able to enter with Facebook and their email address or just their email only? Um, I strongly suggest that you use both options. Uh, Facebook is ni nice and fast for people. They like to just click the connect button and that's it. But there are some people that don't have Facebook. So you're going to want to have the email option so they can also enter with their email if they don't have Facebook. You just choose the option that you want. And again, you can see that the preview is going to update for you so you can see exactly what it's going to look like. You're going to select the start date of your giveaway. The giveaway will not show prior to the start date and it will not allow new entries after the end date. So you just go ahead here and use the date picker to select your start and your end date. We'll go ahead and change the end date of this one. And you can see as you change the end date also the preview will change. It will show you how many days are left. Um, you're going to enter your heading text. The heading text should be something real quick to describe your giveaway. You know, we're giving away a free iPad, we're giving away a free membership, or we're giving away a free report. Just a short heading text to get people to want to read the rest. And then you type in your longer description underneath it. You can upload a graphic, a 100 by 100 pixel graphic for your giveaway. It could be anything you want. Just click on the browse button, select the graphic you want to upload from your hard drive, and click the upload button. Now, one of the ways that people can earn extra chances to win is by liking fan pages that you select. So you're going to type in the full URL of a fan page that you want people to like. You can actually add as many of those fan pages as you want. So say if you had three or four fan pages, just click the add new button, type in URLs of fan pages that you want people to like. And if they choose to like those fan pages, they will get an extra chance to win. And that's one of the key things of the giveaway, is we're giving them incentives to like us, and we're giving them incentives to share with us by giving them extra chances to win. Um, a lot of people have apps up and they're just saying, you know, like us, or hey, would you share us? But there's no incentive. You have to give people an incentive to like you. Uh, you have to give people an incentive to share so that way they'll, you'll get in their newsfeed and you can have a greater chance of going viral. 
Okay, so now that we have our giveaway settings all set up, what we're gonna do is get our code snippet. We'll just go ahead and click on the far right button here. And it's gonna give us a real simple and short code snippet. We just copy and paste that wherever we want our giveaway to show. And it's that easy, we can put it anywhere. Uh, so now we already created a test page for our test uh, giveaway. And we're gonna go take a look at that and I'm gonna show you what the giveaway app looks like from the user's perspective. So this is a simple page with our test giveaway on it. And as you can see, because we chose both options, Facebook Connect and email, the people coming to this page will have two options to enter the giveaway. So if they go ahead and click on the via email button, it'll bring up a simple pop-up where they can enter their first name, last name, and email address, and then enter the giveaway that way. Or if they click on the Facebook Connect, they'll connect with Facebook and we'll pull their first name and last name and email address directly from Facebook and it's a lot faster for them. Uh, we're going to use the Facebook Connect because it is faster. And so now we've entered the giveaway and as you can see it has given us one entry because we've entered the giveaway. We've signed up. Uh, we've, you, you guys have collected our email address and our name and it's going to tell us that we can like the Facebook page below for one extra chance to win and this comes back to the list that we made in the admin area. Again, we can have as many pages as we want for this sample. We just have the uh, first social page showing. So we're gonna go ahead and like the page. And you can see it's given us an extra entry. And if we had more pages, it would show the next page and let them like the next page and so on and so on. Um, we only have the one, so it was just the one. We got one extra entry for liking the page, and now it is telling us that we can get five extra chances for every person that we refer to the giveaway. So if we refer somebody to the giveaway, we get five more chances to win, uh, and that's a very strong incentive for people to share your giveaway. So in order to make it easy, we put three options right here in the giveaway for people to share. The first one is they can click on the Facebook Share button, and it'll bring up a pop-up and all they have to do is press the share this link button and anybody that clicks on that inside of their timeline is going to come to the giveaway and get them five extra chances another option is we can click the tweet button and it'll generate a tweet for us all we have to do is sign in Twitter with our username and password and it'll automatically tweet for us and again anybody who clicks on that link is gonna give us the five chances and lastly, if we don't want to use Facebook Share or Twitter, we give them a referral link. So they could just take that referral link and give it to a friend or paste it in an email to their friends or whatever they want. And anybody that clicks on the referral link will get them the five chances to win. So after we get some users that have entered into the giveaway, we're going to go here and we're going to click on the giveaway title. Now this is going to show us all the people who have entered the giveaway. It's going to give us their name, it's going to give us their email address, the number of entries they have earned, the date they have entered, and it's also going to give us a couple of options. Now if they signed up with Facebook, we have two options. The first option is we can message them right through Facebook. So we can send them a Facebook message, it'll go right to their Facebook inbox. And again, and for everybody, since we have everybody's email address, we can always go ahead and click the email button and we can send them an email directly to their email address if we like. The other options we have on this page are we can click the download CSV button and that'll give us a CSV file with all the names and email addresses of the people that have entered our giveaway. This makes it really easy to add them to your autoresponder should you choose. You can click the random winner button. Now the random winner button will select a random winner giving extra weight to the people that have extra entries. And a thing to note about the random winner button is it doesn't end the giveaway. So if you wanna run a giveaway for a month and give away a prize every day or every week, all you have to do is every day or every week click the random winner button. It doesn't shut the, uh, the giveaway off so that way you can have multiple winners if you want. Because the random winner button does not end the giveaway and you have the ability to have multiple winners, you can click on the view winners button and what that'll do is show you all the winners that have been selected a page just like this except for instead of showing everybody it'll only show the winners 
and you have the option to Facebook message them or email them, and that way you can let them know that they've won and you know work out how you're going to give them their prize. So that's a quick overview of the new First Social Giveaway app. If you have any questions, please feel free to click the Help button on the right side of your screen.